Hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve. And in today's episode, we take a look at what Export Project with Archive is and the benefits. The shorter answer is Export Project with Archive will export your .drp file as usual, but will also copy all the media you imported into that project too. Although there are many applications, today we will look at this common real world scenario. Say I'm editing a project on my desktop in which I'm accessing footage on multiple external hard drives. I get a call to shoot a video for a client, so I will have to travel for a few days. To meet the deadline of my first edit, I now need to work on my laptop whilst on the move. I could pack my laptop and all the external drives, but perhaps the laptop doesn't even have enough ports to plug them all in. I could try copy all the media from the external drives to my travel drive, but I could miss something. Uh, I would also have to relink all the media as the file directories would be different. And worst of all, that's time consuming and very boring. Or I could let DaVinci Resolve do the work for me. As always, our sample here is a simplified version, but you can use your imagination as to how this would be beneficial on a larger project. I'm starting in the media tab to show how the three clips in our project are all on three different external drives. As you can see, this clip here is on the G drive. Our next clip is on the H drive and our third clip is on the F drive. So all of them are on three different external drives. On the edit tab, you can see we have a timeline and I just dropped those on as an assembly. I didn't bother cut them at all because this is enough to get the point across. Let's click on project manager and then right click this project, which we want to archive and click export project with archive. Now, I'd recommend just kind of semi skipping by this window and just hitting save. Now you'll be met with this window. First click browse and here we can select where we want to save the archive to and I'm already where I want to save that but of course you can hunt away and find where you would like to so i.e. on our portable drive that we're going to bring with us and this is where you will also name it. and hit save. You also have the option to copy cached and optimized media, which is really great as it will save you having to regenerate that media on the laptop. And if you don't need those, you can just untick them. Now click OK and Resolve will automatically make a copy of all the media in this project to your portable drive. This could take some time on a bigger project. On our little sample project, however, it's relatively fast because it doesn't have to copy that much media. If I go to my portable drive, we have a folder called archive super edit.dra. In this is all our media with all the necessary directory locations to each clip in our project. That's what makes this so effective as it will save us having to relink media. Now let's jump onto the laptop and continue working on our edit. Right click any area of empty space on your project manager and click restore project archive and find where you stored your archive. You will want to single click on the DRA folder itself and then click open. With the project imported, we can open it and go to the media tab. As you can see, all our media has been copied over and links up perfectly. If I click through them, you can see on this machine that the portable drive is showing up as the E drive. And all the clips are on that same E drive. If we come over to the edit tab, we can continue working and it's just that simple. 
Some important notes to make, the media in the archive folder are copies of the original media. So once you complete this project, you can delete the archive folder so you're not wasting hard drive space by doubling up on media unnecessarily. Of course, be sure to export your final .drp file and back that up in the original master folder for that project before deleting the archive. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.